Hi, I'm Jackie. Um, about 30 or so years ago, I studied psychology. Um, then I started yoga and I've been teaching yoga since 1996 full time. My special skill is inspiring and motivating and educating people to do more. You want to be strong into your old age. It is the most important thing. Don't get frail. So do this exercise, these six exercises, six simple, powerful, effective. Anybody can do them and it doesn't take long. You can bang them out in 10 minutes and you do it three times a week. So I'll take you through them. And if you want to have a good time in your old age, you better do it. First exercise, you might need the wall if you're new to this. Strong calf muscles, very, very important. So if you're not used to it, have your hands lightly on the wall and don't let your ankles flay out. So push down into the base of your big toes. Lift and lower, lift, slowly lower, explosive lift, slowly lower. You will progress to, you can do it in the middle of the room with good alignment, with that grounding through the base of the big toes. I like to add on a little shoulder stretch while I'm here. Make sure you've got good posture, shoulders down. Don't look at the floor because then your head comes forward. Horizontal gaze, look at the wall in front of you. So don't rush into doing it in the middle of the room because if you're out of alignment, you're strengthening the muscles in the wrong ways. We want to strengthen the muscles in the correct ways and the bones and slow down joint aging. Starting uh, last one, we're going to hold the heels up. 10, 9, 8, Seven, lift through the chest, shoulders down, reach through the crown of the head, feel the muscles. Four, three, two, one. Great work. Next one is actually releases your calf muscles and your, your Achilles, your ankles from what you've just done. So it's perfect. We're going to strengthen these muscles, thighs, glutes, leg muscles. Um, but this is flexibility as well. So we're going to sit down or squat so sit and stand now make sure you your knees are happy the right amount of these for us over 50s is good too many is actually if you have a bit of old injuries a bit of stiffness a bit of wear and tear like most of us do the, if you do too many, it can aggravate your knee pain or your knee stiffness, but the right amount is good. So don't overdo the squats, but just maintain this movement into old age. So when you're older, you can easily, when you're in your 80s, get off the chair by yourself. You don't need the handrails or you can, you can get off the toilet especially, in and out of the car, because a lot of older people literally lose this mobility. It's also... Um, it's not just strength, it's flexibility in ankles, knees, hips and spine. And I'm actually not doing it like this. I see people doing it like this. So keep your back straight and um, finish on wall sit. Or you can just hold a squat. But feeling your leg muscles. Try to have your thighs like a tabletop, horizontal. It might be long enough for you. I'm going to go a little bit longer. But just take it to your own edge. As long as you feel you've pushed your muscles and you've got some fatigue, you'll get all the benefits. Try to do 10 more counts. Okay. So now we're going to do... Uh, shoulders, sides, all the sides of the body. So these muscles here, outer hips, abductors, obliques, the waist. We're going to do lats. We're going to do sides of our neck and our shoulder stability. So coming down to the floor. 
and putting one elbow down. And if you're new to this, strengthening the side muscles, then just do it with your knees bent like I am like that. And make sure your shoulders are down and you're not like that. So top hip forward, shoulders down and hold your head into alignment. If you've got somebody around, get them to look at my alignment and check your alignment that you're not like this. So correct alignment. So you, as I've said, strengthening the muscles in the right way. And you, the last thing you want is to get uh, a, a short, stiff neck. We're, we're trying to slow down aging here, not speed it up. And, but if you're new to, if you're um, experienced, then and you've built up your strength and you keep you keep up your body work and your strength training, you will be able to progress to the one I'm doing here with the. You can have the top leg foot forward is a bit easier. The foot stacked on top is a bit harder. You can do little pulses. This is really hard, the one I'm doing there. I'm finding it hard enough though. So it's working this hip, this waist, these lats, this shoulder, this side of the neck. So it's, it's strengthening a lot of areas deep. And yeah, so make sure if you start collapsing, come out of the pose. I, I'm nearly done. See if you can go 10 more counts. So you might, you might already be done though. Push it to your edge is all you need to do. Whew, that was good. Okay, onto your other side. Remember, if you're starting off, don't rush into the hard stuff because that's actually not very good for you because you won't have good technique. So remember, if you're new to it, just like that and a, a slow, um, a shorter hold. But you build up to the harder one and the longer hold. So into your edge and just holding any variation of the side plank. I find it's a bit stronger on your elbows, but you can do it on your hands. And it's stronger if you're sort of pushing into resistance bands and other, other exercises. That, that This is good, a good, basic, strong exercise for life. Simple strong, effective, keeping your whole body strong for a long, healthy life. Most people will be out by now or you'll be losing um, good techniques. So people will be going like this, but it's best to come out of the pose when you start to collapse. If you can keep good form, you can stay in it. I'm starting to feel it's enough. Might go 10 more counts. Okay, so that's three exercises. So the calf muscles, the leg muscles, the side muscles. Now we're going to do chest muscles. So coming into plank and a few push-ups. So make sure in plank you're not doing it like that. That is not good for your back. Or, or see my shoulders, shoulders down. So staying, getting that good core, belly button in, shoulders down and micro push up. See what I'm doing here? That might be enough. Holding plank is a good start. Uh, but when, you, when that gets easy, then you can start to do some little push ups. So it's your shoulders. And if you're not going to have good technique, don't even bother. So start off tiny movements or just a good solid plank and the right amount is good for your shoulders especially us, us over 50s with the shoulders that have got a little bit of wear and tear I'm starting to feel my muscles fatigue and I'm feeling like it's probably enough pop your knees down if you need if you start collapsing, come out of the pose. Only hold for longer if you've got the technique. Feel the heat coming. Maybe 10 more counts. Oh, that was a good one, number four. Two more amazing exercises. So now we're going to strengthen all the muscles in the back of the spine and the back of the body. So coming and lying on your belly. 
and have a look at it first. Elbows in back pockets, legs up, but squeeze your belly. Some people find this aggravates their lower back. So just go really gently. Uh, maybe reach your feet, foot back. One at a time is easier. And reach back and up. You want to do a little bit of strengthening into your back though. So try to do the tiniest little bit. When people say it aggravates their back, it's because they usually do too much too soon. So you might need to finish now, some of you, and see how you feel tomorrow. If you're new, especially if you're new to this and you have also also have get a stiff back. But I can do more because I'm used to it. And some of you will be able to do more. There's a lot of factors. It's um, different shapes of your spine, different ages, different levels of ability. If you have a desk job, your back will be weaker. If you have manual work, you might have a stronger back. I'm also a surfer, so surfers have strong backs. So I could, I could do this forever, but that's my back. Uh, a yogi surfer, but you might feel that's enough. So, but make sure you can feel your muscles in the back of the body. I like to finish on a hold. Shalabhasana. Squeeze your belly. Mulabandha. Pelvic floors. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Slowly release. We've got one more. Number 6. What do you think it's for? <laughs> of course, it's for the belly, all the muscles in the front of the body, the flexors. So there's lots of ways we could do it. Um, so we'll just go to the number one yoga exercise for strengthening your belly. So boat pose, so just or a variation of boat pose. So this is boat pose, but most people do it with bent knees because the hamstrings are a bit tight. So I prefer you to have a, straight, a straighter back than straight legs. Uh, and this is another option. This might be safer and for a lot of people. It might feel uh, a, a better start. And so it's safer for your lower discs and your, if you have prolapse as well. So let's hold the boat to our edge. I'm actually fatigued from teaching three yoga classes yesterday and or 11 yoga classes a week. So on, it's a Saturday, it's my day off. And actually I usually have a break from yoga, but today I'm making a YouTube video. Um, <laughs> usually I'm like, no yoga on Saturday after teaching 11 classes. Day off yoga, long walk or a surf. <sighs> anyway, I've got to make yoga for the you amazing people out there in the world. Um, <sighs> Oh, it feels good to be strong. The last one, maybe that's enough for you. I'm, I'm staying to feel it's enough for me. Finish off. This is the hardest one. Staying right down, almost on the floor. Oh, it puts an end to you quickly. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, well done. <sighs> It's really good after strength training just to lie down and do nothing for at least a few minutes, even five minutes. It's so good for you. Also, a good idea would be the video I put up last week is stretch, actually stretching a whole body. It's called whole body stretch and quick whole body stretch. And it actually stretches all the muscles. So I've planned the video to be there. So if you do this one, if you just go back to the previous video that I've uploaded, then that is the perfect one to follow up. So just go back, find that um, and do the stretch or just lie on your back for a few minutes. Let the growth horm hormone come up to get into your, your bone density and your muscles and keep moving your body and I hope you can keep doing my YouTubes. If you want more from me and my favourite recordings emailed to you for you to get bonus more amazing classes, I send to all my patrons. So become a patron and it's less than $10 Australian a month. 
um, you can get emailed to you my favorite classes every couple of weeks. They're so good. My patrons are loving it. But if you don't want to become a patron, then please go, I'll link to my PayPal. If you can just donate a little bit every now and then, if you're getting value and you're actually using my videos, it, it, I do, it, I am working and everybody needs to get paid. And if, so if you are getting value, please just donate maybe a dollar a video or something like that. So maybe every, you know, every month you just give, give me a donate a little bit. You can just go to my website and find that as well. Or under the video, I'll link to my PayPal for a donation and also my patron. patron. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>